This kit list is an extract from a longer video of my first paddleboard camping adventure. So if you want to come along, join that adventure and see some of this kit in action, make sure to go and check out the full video. I'll put the link right at the end. Bottom of this is this handy change mat, which I can use for putting my essential camping items on. Okay, so in the time that it's taken uh, Gavin to pitch his entire campsite, um, I've only just managed to spread to spread out all my, um, what I'm calling my paddleboard camping essentials. And I'll run through them in a second, but first just a caveat. This is the first time I've gone paddleboard camping and this is sort of based on my experience doing normal camping and a little bit of paddleboarding. So there may be some things I'm missing out. So if you've got more experience in paddleboard camping and you think some of my suggestions are idiotic, I'd like to know and so would the rest of us. So let's go in and I'm gonna start with um, well, obviously you've got the paddleboard, that's a given, you need that, but then a few things that are maybe specific to paddleboarding that you really wouldn't carry on every other paddle, and of course you've got your, your PFD. Now I'm mentioning this again because this is actually useful other than just being on the paddleboard, because a PFD is essentially a really thick gilet, so you can stick this on in the evening as an extra warm layer, and as Gavin suggested, you can also use it as a... Maybe a pillow. As a pillow. Don't compress it too much though. As you saw from Gavin's board, you don't need to buy extra luggage bags. You just use whatever you have and you can bungee them on, but it can be a bit more organized if you have something more designed for it. And I've got two bags here. I'll show you. I've got this. This is my favorite bag for paddleboarding. I use this, you know, even when I'm not camping. This is Red's deck bag and it's designed to sit right on top of the board. It's got clips where it clips onto the board so you don't need to put bungees over the top of it. And then you've got free access to these top bungees. You can put water bottles in the side. In the top here, when it's on the deck, it sits flat so you can get access to your stuff without it being squashed. It's really easy to find everything. So I've been using this to carry my drone, a few extra layers, um, and I think some of my food was in there. Then the other bag I have is this. This is a 40 litre waterproof bag. Um, you don't have to use this for paddle boarding because it's got straps on it, so you can actually wear it like a backpack. It's got one big central chamber you can just sort of dump everything into, as well as a big side pocket as well. And then on the bottom of it, I don't know what this is for, but there is like an, another pocket, flat pocket on the very, very bottom where you can keep, I don't know, your newspaper <laughs> or something. Do you read newspapers? Never. See, even Gavin doesn't, and he's older than me. <laughs> While it is a bit of extra bulk to carry, it's a good idea to bring your pump with you. Emergency spare paddle. That opens up. And then it basically gives you a really short paddle. This is a pretty lightweight, ultra light tent. This one weighs a kilo. This is a Terra Nova Laser Compact One. Sleeping mat, label sleeping mat. It's a pillow. I haven't brought a sleeping bag because I want to try something. And this is what I've brought instead. Changing robe, which is basically almost like a sleeping bag you can wear. It's like fleece lined, it's waterproof. So it means I can use it in the evening as my warm layer. If it starts to rain, I've got a rain jacket and I'm pretty sure this thing is warm enough to sleep in. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna flip it upside down and put my feet inside the hood. Change robe for sleeping in, and then just in case I get a bit chilly or my feet stick out, I've got this. This is like a really tiny silk liner. It's gonna be maybe down to nine degrees Celsius tonight. So just in case it's a little bit cold, I can get inside the silk liner. For cooking, this is my little stove that I have. This is a jet boil stash, really, really handy. Everything goes in here, you got the gas, and then inside the pot here, you've got your pot stand and you've got your your stove burners in there you'll see this you'll see the stove working later now i do also have a frying pan with me but i don't think that's an essential piece of kit so i'm not going to show you it container with some food in it i got some paninis water is really important if you're paddle boarding you're on water but you can't necessarily drink it and i have water filters that i use in the mountains they're, they're sort of like bunched fiber based water filters you see them around a lot, there's like soft flasks, like Be Free make one, Salmon make one. And they're great if you're drinking from a relatively trustworthy water source, because they'll remove like all the biological contaminants, they'll remove viruses, bacteria, that kind of stuff. But they won't remove chemicals or heavy metals. And this, that being the River Ban, that being Loch Beg, 
There are boats going past here. There are farms with runoff. So I've got this. This is a Grail Ultra Press. And to use it, you just, well, you just dunk that into the water, fill it to this line, put this top bit in, press it down, and that gives you, I think that one's about 500, 500, 700 mils of water. That way you've got delicious fresh water and zero diarrhea. Hey there. I hate diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the evening, I've got a few extra warm layers just in case it gets really cold. One small thing, you might not think this is essential, but I think this is essential to enjoy a camp, is a small seat. This thing weighs 250 grams. It's absolutely, look at it. And it's just enough. It's just enough. That's the first time I've sat down at ours. It's just enough to get you off the ground. That, that actually feels so much more comfortable than in. It gets you off the ground. Handy little seat, can come in useful. And also this one has a particular advantage in that if you put it inside your tent afterwards, it becomes a tiny table on which you can put small objects such as pebbles that you might collect or your phone. <laughs> gadget table now. People like small camping gadgets. Well, this isn't a gadget. This is a microfiber towel because you never know, you might fall in, you might get wet. Something might get wet that you don't want to get wet and you need to dry it off. This is useful to have. Head torch, always bring a head torch. A midge net. Actually, very few midges around here. There are lots of flies, but they're not biting us, which is great. But if they were, we'd be having a miserable time and they might still appear. Midges tend to appear after the drag sun has gone, so we'll find out later. Got a first aid kit. Always customize your first aid kit with any like specific medications you might need. So I've got some extra paracetamol in here, ibuprofen, but I've also added antihistamines because I've got a hay fever dust allergy, which might be set off, so I've got some of those in there. I'm also allergic to wasps, so uh, not really allergic, but slightly allergic. So if a wasp stung me, antihistamine, and I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy, swelly, swelly. You may or may not wanna get one of these, but this is a Zolio. This is a satellite communicator, um, and sort of emergency beacon. And what this lets me do is this lets me send text messages if I don't have signal. There's this little SOS button. I can flick that switch, push that, press that, and that'll send a beacon, which will just continually run until the emergency services sort of come to my location. This is just a tube that contains some repair tape in case I burst something inflatable. I've got a poop bag, which contains some toilet roll, a shovel, and some alcohol hand gel. Hopefully don't have to use this. And I've got some insect repellent just in case some bugs do turn up. I got some chewing gum because I forgot to bring a toothbrush. And I've got a lamp sip because um, if my hay fever gets set off, I'll wake up in the morning all gunked up. I find, have a nice warm lamp sip, clears you out. It's great. Yes, I've got a head torch, but there's something nice about just turning on a little lamp and hanging it up inside your tent. It also means you can walk away from your tent with your head torch and you can find where your tent is because it's now glowing in the dark. My last essential item is this. This is a eye mask and there's also a pair of earplugs in there because this time of year, the sun is gonna rise very, very early. And if you're not wanting to get up at sunset, and you don't have anything dark over your eyes, you're probably gonna wake up. At least I'll wake up. Finally, of course, a decent paddle board capable of carrying all your kit. I use the Red Paddle 12 foot compact board. Right, it's half eight. You hungry? Sure, always. Okay, I think it's time to eat.